when I'm speaking, my brain's sending neurological activity to control my vocal cords. And it's that activity that we pick up and we're able to process it and translate it into speech. And so one of the applications that we're developing is what we call voiceless communication. So it's the idea that essentially, um, take for example when you're talking on a cell phone, why do all the people around you need to hear your conversation? With this technology, we can enable people to speak silently um, and not miss important calls. So we'll give you um, an example of that. Um, so this will take a second here. Okay, should I pick up this phone? Yeah. So what we're going to do is place um, one of the first voiceless um, cell phone conversation. There we go. <laughs> nice, nice ringtone. So hi, Mike. This is Mike Ames over at TI. Are you busy? I'm kind of in the middle of something. Oh, I just had a quick question for you. So I can talk um, both verbally and also silently to answer his question. Are you available to meet with members of the press afterwards? Yeah, definitely. Great, thanks. Talk to you later. The performance um, that we're able to achieve at this moment is similar to um, the early days of speech recognition. So those were days when there was very close set, um, but there were a number of applications that you could do. So one of the applications that we're developing um, that we're launching at the end of this year is a communication device for people with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease um, in order to communicate. So now, although um, the communication and speech that we can offer is limited, it still adds a huge amount of value. If you can capture um, what a person wants to say before they actually say it, there's a number of very powerful things that you can do with that. Um, and one of them that we're developing um, is kind of its usage scenario, what we describe as the smartest man in the room. So essentially with the audio device, what we do is we'd capture um, the activity that a person wants to say and translate that um, into speech and use that speech to query um, search engines. So imagine um, you're walking down the street and you want to know um, where the local bus station is. And so you just essentially think it, or a little bit more than that, and the device captures the activity and translates that up to the internet, gets the answer and speaks it back down to you. So what that means for people is that we can augment um, human intelligence by using all of the, the collected knowledge that's held on the internet.